All right, so guys, just got home from work. Pick up some groceries. I'm gonna go over what I got and explain why. And I'm honestly trying to put on weight, and I'm the scale's not moving right now. So I gotta up the calories. So I got some food that's gonna help that. All right. So start with protein source. I pick up more of this. Whey isolate, Optimum Nutrition is really good stuff. Mixes mixes well. 30 grams of protein per scoop, and uh, the isolate, whey isolate is the fast absorption. Protein breaks down really easily. Um, you can mix it and stir it up with a, just a spoon and water, uh, no problem. So I got that for protein source, and then we got uh, Crave beef jerky. That's something quick on the go, and I like this flavor, the black cherry barbecue. Honestly, when I go with beef jerky. I only stick to a few brands, and Crave's definitely one of them. It's all natural brands, so there's no like nitrates and stuff like that, or whatever. It's the what is it? Yeah, no nitrates, gluten free, low in fat. Uh, one ounce is 11 grams of protein, so you got 16 servings in here. Pretty good sized bag. And then Greek yogurt, something I usually eat for breakfast or like late night. And you got the variety pack in here, so I got good protein source for. 12 grams of protein per one. So I usually eat two at a time, so it's usually 24 grams of protein I'm doing. So there's that. And then moving on to like quick meals, right? I got like carb. I eat a lot of granola bars, so I got like fiber one bars. I used to have like fiber one cereal in the house, like honey clusters, but lately I've been out of that. So I just picked up these bars because they taste really good. And there's this is 48 bars in here, so I got um, quite a few. This is 10 grams of fiber per bar. Alright. Another quick. Rice Krispie Treats, bomb! Put them in the microwave for 10 seconds. Put them on a little, like, little plate. Gets that, like, because look at this is so, like, misleading. The Rice Krispie Treats are not like that when you bite into them. They're like little bricks. So if you want them like that, you gotta little. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. A lot of sweets. We got some banana, banana loaves, little banana nut bread. I'll show you these guys. I usually eat these for breakfast as well. I usually eat, like, two of these. Okay, open it. Gosh. Little mini loaves of uh, banana nut. Well, it's banana bread. There's no nuts in it. So it's banana bread. A little organic banana bread. So I got that. Um, so those are like little fast bars or something quick to eat. But um, then again, another carb source. These uh, Philippine mangoes. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what these, know about these. They're really good. Uh, you could throw these in your yogurt. But uh, quick carb source. They're high in sugar, yeah, because they, they add a little bit of sugar to them. Onto the mangoes, which makes them so good. So I uh, got these. Uh, late. Late meal. Last time I got the chicken chimichangas. I think I talked about in a video. This time I got the burritos, the shredded steak, three cheese burritos. This is like, I think you put them in the, yeah, 90 seconds in the microwave. I got 18 of these guys in here, right? And I got some like little mix, has like cheese granola. These are quick snacks. Snack on, I like to snack on things. Some people just like to have meals and not snack, but honestly, I'm eating throughout the whole day. So I snack on this yeah, pub mix. Bomb. Another little microwave bowl coming out of order. Here's another microwave bowl item a chicken teriyaki bowl. I love like Asian food and stuff like that. So this is bomb. You just put it in there for six and a half minutes. Macros on this, check it out. One bowl. Look at that. Right? You have five grams of fat, 72 carbs, 20 protein. That is amazing macros. Look at the carbs on that. So I'm stoked about that. I've actually had these before, they're really good. Um, and then to add to my cereal, I got the. I used to eat this a long time ago, uh, Kashi cereal, and cinnamon harvest. So I add this like cinnamon toast crunch. And this is a good carb source because it's 43 grams of carbs per uh, serving. So I have a high carb diet, extremely high carb. So there's that. But then again, if so, oh can't forget drumstick. Let's get it going. We got a post workout, post workout meal, and uh, even though it's winter. It's never a wrong time for some ice cream. 32. I'm not even gonna say the macros because it's not that good. If you got a high fat diet, I don't say high fat diet. Yeah, but if you have macros to play with, 
you got 16 grams of fat per bar for uh, ice cream cones. All right, so that is what I got for groceries. I want to show you guys. Um, I'll be used, I'll be eating these in my videos, and I'll show you what's up. And I'll like microwave some of these, and I'll show you what they look like. All right, the chicken teriyaki bowls and the burritos, and yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna piece together a video for you, and this is gonna be in the footage. I have a couple workouts at the gym, I'm gonna some biceps, and uh, I might have some other things to piece in. Cool. All right, guys, let's check it out. Got a few poses here, physique update, showing you guys how I'm looking right now. Still got the abs, that's the goal is to hold on to them as long as we can. Um, it's bulking season for me, so just trying to put, get some size on and uh, keep kind of like a lean physique going on. So. Hit a few poses showing you what we got going. Uh, this is currently like eight days right here in the gym straight. I just been, I don't know, I've been on one with my workouts. So I've been focusing on pretty good workouts, making sure that I utilize my time in the gym and uh, keep that high intensity going throughout my workouts. So that helps with my metabolism, helps with burning, you know, calories. So that's just my goal every time I go into the gym. I'm, I'm there on a mission and um, I got a few exercises I'm going to show you for my chest that I did um, the other day. This is hammer strength. Not all you guys, not all the gyms have them. Um, we don't have the ones with the plate. The ones with the plate that you can put on each side. So this is like a machine hammer strength. It's still considered hammer strength because um, it's made by you know the company or whatever. So I keep the full tension stretch. This is an incline. There are two different ones. There's a flat one and an incline one. So then I do standing right here, close grip with the chest. So this is a, after the flat movement. I do it for incline. And then I move on to, um, you know, across the chest on the hammer strength, the same one that I was on, and uh, trying to isolate and put the hand on the on the muscle for, to help with the mind and muscle connection. Yeah, so you can see that I focus on the squeeze when I do this. Um, I'm making this video today. Uh, this was a couple days ago, and I'm actually hitting chest today as well. So I'm going to uh, either hit this as w hit this again or switch it up. But it's a good isolate uh, isolated movement. There's a select few movements that you can do with chest that actually isolate them. There's a lot of compound pressing movements, so you can find something like this to isolate, and um, as well, you know, throwing with your flies. I actually found this really useful. It's like a cross cable action for. Uh, when I do my upper chest and my hands down there, right, but I, I hit flat bench, or I, I actually hit flat dumbbell this day, and then I went on to the hammer strength incline, and then I did the close grip press, and then this. This is just to make sure I'm focused on the chest, it's something I kind of do, but I can actually feel the squeeze, the way I pull back and tear, it, you can feel like you're tearing in the upper chest, so I just kind of, I, I don't know, in the gym I kind of see things from, from a distance, and I'll try it out. And uh, it's kind of the same concept as the hammer strength, but I found that I can isolate really well while doing this exercise. And then I'm going to move on to cable flies, but the way I grip them and the way I bring them together, I bring them together low so it actually activates the lower chest. Um, I mean, I'm even guilty with this. Not a lot of people focus on movements to isolate, you know, lower in your chest. But I actually started doing this a couple weeks ago, and I noticed it actually helps. So that's how you bring the cables down under. It's kind of like my lower chest, and then I'll squeeze. It's not like your average fly where you come down up top, which I actually did, um, I think, later in this workout. But I got a few clips of my exercises to share with you guys. And, um, hey, guys, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys for watching, if that makes sense. All righty. Cool. All right, so little recap. What's gonna be blah, 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 blah. no shade November? Check it out. We're getting it going. It's about to come in nice. I'm about to like take this seriously. I'm about to get some beard oil at a actual beard shop, and I'm gonna get like a beard brush. Yeah. All right. Anyways, we're trying to gain and gain and gain. It is this time of the year to eat all the food that you want. Just kidding, but not really. Um, if you're bulking, um, I am going to be eating so much food. I guess, I, I, okay, I'm not going to lie. My activity level, how many days I've been working straight, and like, how many, 
I literally think I've been in the gym eight days straight now, which is cool with me. I don't care. Um, getting to that point where it's like, I get in the, I don't want to say rhythm, but it kind of is a rhythm. It's like a routine, and that's just, I don't know. If I have things laid out for me, and like, I'm, gonna, I'm on a system, right? And I, I wake up, go to the gym, come home, get my stuff together, and I'm just like fluent with everything. Like, it's all pieced together like that. I like that. So, some days when I, know I don't go to the gym, I, I don't know. Like, it feels weird to me. It feels strange that I'm not, you know, work out in. So, I mean, that probably happens to a lot of you. And it's just, you get so comfortable being in the gym and, like, that's your time. And you're so psyched to be in the gym that um, <clears throat> you can't really, uh, I don't know. It sounds weird. It sounds really weird. I'm just going to stop talking about it. Anyways. Yeah, it's kind of like, all right, let's say you're an artist, or like say you write in your diary, right, and you love writing in your diary, and one day you don't write in your diary, you feel weird, right? That's kind of like being a part of the fitness lifestyle, like you're in the gym every single day, or six days a week, right, and then one day you're not in the gym, you're like, whoa, this is weird, this is weird right now, this is awkward. All right, so really quick, uh, calories, I want to show you guys how many calories I'm really eating. Honestly, a lot of you guys are like, oh, I'm eating like 4,000 calories a day. You'd be surprised. You're probably not. You're probably eating like 2,300 because you'll, you'll know what 4,000 calories are. Like you're, everyone has a caloric maintenance, right? And then you hit that maintenance and then you're like, you're constantly eating. You're in a surplus. Next thing you know, it, you're like, yo, I got to still eat. And it's kind of like becomes a mission. So like, it's, you got to stay focused when you're dieting down. Like, yeah, it's tough because you have all these cravings and stuff, and you're getting lethargic because you're getting really lean. I've been there. I've been 5% body fat before, and it's insane. Go back on my videos way back, like way back when I started the channel. Look how lean I was getting. Like, it's mentally, like, you, it, it, drain, it, it drains you, right? But when you bulk, and you're male, that needs to eat a lot of food to bulk, and it becomes like a mission like eating is like a part of your day like I was talking about like part of your routine and task like you have to hit your calories like you're you know you're looking at your macros and you're like yo I still have 800 calories to eat but like be ideal with it don't be like oh I'm gonna eat like I'm gonna go get a cheeseburger really quick don't get me wrong some days it has to get to that point and you can work with that if you're if your scale isn't really like climbing and you're not gaining way too much weight way too fast so I'm gonna show you like this is what's cool about watching my videos. You can see me my you know I'm gonna want to do these um physique updates for you and show you like I did I think I did my last physique update like three weeks ago. So maybe in, like a week I'm gonna show you another physique update and you can see I want I want you guys to see how it goes when it comes to bulking. Don't go too hard on it. Like don't you're so excited like a lot of you they get at competitions and you're like oh I get to bulk. Chill, 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 fam. I hate that saying. Oh, chill fam. Anyways, I, I messed around with my buddies. Hey, yo, chill fam. Anyways, chill. Legit, chill. Because you're going to go way too hard, way too quick. And you're like, yo, I'm going to put three pounds on in a week. No. You don't want to do that. So, especially with all, like, the food coming up Thanksgiving, you want to be able to, like, look in the mirror and be like, yo, I'm sitting lean and I'm, I'm making progress. And I'm not, like, keep the eye on the goal. Like, you want to have an aesthetic physique, right? Cali Aesthetics, we're trying to have an aesthetic physique and roll with it. So let's take that mindset going into the winter. Thanksgiving's around the corner. And um, honestly, you, I'm serious. I've been bulking since like late August and I'm rolling with it. But I, my activity level, I'm just going to keep increasing calories. I'm not not even mad about it. Like I'm gaining strength and I'm, I'm noticing some size, <clears throat> but it's progress. I mean, you know, it's, it's uh, not progress. What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, it's like progression, but I mean, oh, it's pro, you know, it's process. Let's get going. I had a long day at work, oh, just a long day in period. I have like twelve hour days. I wake up, go to the gym, go to work. Anyways, yeah. So I still have some macros to hit, and you gotta, you gotta love, you gotta love the journey. You know, you gotta respect the journey. You gotta love the journey. You gotta understand that. If you're just starting to work out, like, don't, I mean, yeah, it could be frustrating because you want to get to a certain point so quick, and you're going to, like, let others, don't, like, be focused on you, and don't work, don't, like, you know, you're your own, like, I've said this before, you're your own motivation, that's, you should be, you should be starting to become better and better each day, and if you're better than the day before, you're winning, so keep that in mind, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, putting this video together, and, uh, 
This is not a pink. This is not pink uh, polo. It's salmon. So before you were gonna comment on that, this isn't pink. This is salmon. So nice try. Anyways, yeah. Uh, so I haven't had some people to film for me in the gym. I got a couple clips of me hitting some biceps or whatever. Um, in my minion cutoff, thumbs up for the minion cutoff. But I want you guys to. Uh, I'm going to meet up with my homies that I haven't seen in a minute, and I want to film a workout with them. So let's get that on the road, and see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching.